about 30% of all solid tumors will end up having a brain metastasis, but it happens most commonly in melanoma. People have really significant symptoms, starting with headaches, but going as, as far as not being able to walk or speak. If those tumors grow out of control, they commonly lead to death. You really thought that you know the immunotherapy and targeted therapy has had such a great impact outside the brain. We questioned whether it's capable of actually making the same impact in the brain. What we reported in our study was 94 patients that we treated with a combination immunotherapy of ipilimumab and nivolumab. 56% of patients had a shrinkage of the brain tumors, and we were really excited to see that tumors in the brain were shrinking pretty consistently as we were doing the study. And 26% actually the tumor completely went away, which was what we call a complete response. And most importantly, when we actually followed those patients over time, 92% of the responses actually were long lasting. So we, we really made a huge impact in that regard because now those patients that got treated with immunotherapy, 60% of them have no progression at the end of one year. If you compare this to the survival of those patients before immunotherapy, you know, less than 10% of them will actually be alive at one year, let alone to have no progression. So we really were very excited about that. It is practice changing. With the results of our study, I, I think that when patients now show up with a new diagnosis of metastatic melanoma, we have a combination that's actually effective and can be started immediately on them. What I consider a breakthrough of this study is that we proved that this is a population that we can actually enroll in a clinical trial, treat safely, give them therapeutic benefit, and again, uh, open up an entire field of investigation for this particular population, not just in melanoma, but hopefully in other cancers as well.